Hey guys, uh, this is Normal here for Technique and in this video we will share some of the simple tips and tricks you can perform on the Lenovo A6000, the new budget smartphone from company. So this device has pretty impressive specs and uh, its price just 699 and we already done the detailed review of this device so let's get started with the tips and tricks. So uh, this device runs Android 4 or 4 KitKat uh, with the Lenovo's Vibe UI that's a custom UI although this uh, UI is almost similar to what we have on the Vibe X2 this is a stripped down variant of uh, the Vibe UI so there are a couple of things uh, you can do so first uh, let's see how we can customize the home screen so if you hit this move button we can see some uh, additional options so here we have uh, add a new uh, screen you can have themes uh, uh, change the wallpapers screen manager so you can see here you can manage the screen so you can add more screens from here uh, then uh, you have desktop settings we'll come back to this desktop settings later and then also the, the general settings so you can access these uh, options uh, uh, pretty easily from this menu so just hit uh, this uh, options menu and you can see these uh, options and you can configure um, the themes and wallpapers and other steps so now let's go to these uh, settings one by one so first step let's go to the theme so here we, you can see there are a couple of themes available although unlike the MIUI you cannot download themes so these are the only the uh, basic themes available just two of them probably Lenovo might update this uh, uh, themes uh, fold up with newer themes in the coming uh, build so as of now there are only two themes so you can just keep that uh, the theme and you can see uh, the options and click the apply button to get the theme in action so that's the option now go to wallpapers it's it's a normal wallpapers desktop wallpapers gallery and uh, other wallpapers so we're not going to explain that next step uh, we have the screen manager you can manage the screens from here you can add more screens uh, you can see here you can add more screens you can delete screens and do stuff so that's the screen manager uh, then uh, we have the desktop settings so here we have a couple of interesting options so first step uh, we have this wallpaper scrolling so uh, we can have infinite wallpaper scrolling that means if the wallpaper is uh, a, a wide one you can have a scrolling for uh, the wallpaper or if that is not enabled the wallpaper will be fixed across uh, multiple home screens so that's wallpaper scrolling uh, then uh, we have um, uh, swipe to change wallpaper this will demo it later then we have the desktop uh, animations uh, so there are a couple of uh, rather uh, quite a few of uh, the desktop transition animations available so we'll just show you this animation so we we'll just change the animation so you can see these are the animations what we said now go back uh, to the desktop settings and uh, we have uh, selected the animation and uh, now uh, we have a uh, uh, desktop backup and restore so that is uh, we can uh, take a backup of the desktop settings and you can restore at a later stage so that's the desktop backup and restore now going to more settings you have the desktop gestures so this is uh, there are three gestures available the scroll up open the desktop menu scroll down open the notification bar and double tap you can configure so these are the options so uh, only three options are available open desktop menu open recently used tabs open notification bar so these are the options available so you can configure based on whatever you require uh, uh, for these three gestures so we'll just show you scroll up so you can see this is the scroll up and it'll open the uh, settings so that's uh, that's the scroll up and gestures now we have another option swipe to change wallpaper so we'll just demo this option so this this option is now enabled so you can see here the wallpaper uh, folder has couple of interesting for wallpapers so instead of going there and changing the wallpapers you can quickly change the wallpapers from the desktop itself uh, you can just swipe uh, from the either from the top left or from the top right corner and it will change the wallpaper so you can see uh, just swiping down and uh, you can see the wallpapers getting changed and uh, you can fix the wallpaper whichever you want so there you go so once you selected the wallpaper just leave it and it will be back to the desktop so you can just uh, swipe uh, until you reach your favorite wallpaper and once the wallpaper is selected uh, you can uh, use this as, as the default wallpaper so this is the swipe to change wallpapers option under the desktop so that's another great option so you can quickly change the wallpapers from here now uh, we have the default uh, notification center so this is uh, two sets of uh, toggles are there so we are not going to explain uh, these options so in the notification settings you can see here you can quickly enable flashlight so you can use the flash uh, on this device as a torch so that's uh, another useful option 
and now uh, if you press and hold um, uh, the the more option that is the same key which we said before you can see all the list of all apps running here so these are the apps running in the background so you can just um, uh, swipe to the top to remove them and you can just swipe bottom to lock them so what it does is uh, say for example if you want to clear all the background apps running uh, on your device so you can just hit this button the clean button will be located below but if you're hitting this button all the apps running in the background will be cleaned so in case you don't want a certain app to uh, not be cleaned uh, from this process what you can do is just swipe to the bottom you can see here and you can see a lock icon uh, right now available so this means uh, the app will not be cleared uh, when you uh, clean uh, the background process so you can just swipe here so two apps have been uh, locked now so now let's click this button and you can see uh, these two apps are not cleared rest all the apps are, have been cleared so this is the option so now if you want to release just swipe uh, to the top and then uh, unlock it uh, just swipe again uh, uh, to lock it so now if you clear it will be gone so that's the option so you can uh, clear all the background apps that the option is available on all phones but if you selectively uh, want to clear all the apps that that option is available on this device and if you press and hold anywhere on the screen you can see the options to add uh, widgets so this is how you add widgets you can uh, see the widgets available on your device based on the apps you have installed so you can move the widget uh, to any other location and also uh, finalize the location so that's another option now if you go to the volume settings you can if you press the volume you get uh, this option call and messaging tones and uh, the rough four profiles here so silent meeting general and outdoors so these are profiles here now if you see if you click this icon settings icon you can see you can customize the volume for calls and messages uh, then uh, you have for media volume and notification center so these three uh, no, uh, settings can volume settings can be configured from here and we'll talk about these profiles later now going to settings uh, we have the normal set of options so here we have the audio profiles so here we have four profiles a general silent meeting and outdoor so you can configure each of these profiles from here that's uh, useful so based on um, uh, whatever profile you want uh, you can add from here so you can click add you can input the name and then configure what are the default settings for that profiles and you can uh, quickly change the profiles from the desktop the way we showed before so that's the uh, the profile option then uh, you have the dolby option so here we have you can customize the speaker output uh, for quite a lot of options you can see here music movie uh, then game voice you can have custom as well so if you are interested in music this is a very good option to have so these were some of the simple tips and tricks you could perform on the lenovo a6000 so hope you like this video if you have any questions just drop a comment and we'll be glad to help you out with your queries if you like this video do hit the like button and also subscribe to your youtube channel for more videos thanks for watching this video have a great day